hey friends and welcome back to another video so in today's video we are doing paycheck number one for the month of march and uh, i'm so excited guys because i decided to make my own spreadsheet on how i wanted things to be. because remember I, I told you guys a while back that i ha had the budget the budget mom's um, workbook but i feel like that was a little too in depth for me um because there was a lot of things that i wasn't showing you guys because that was really really going into a lot of the things that i didn't want to show so i decided to do my own little thing um i'm still not finished with it because i still want to add some stuff on this side i'm still learning i'm still learning so this is going to be what this is looking like i did add some more sinking funds and some envelopes um to uh either saving money or it's what i use on a weekly basis so let's just get right into it um let me see if you guys can see this yes yeah, i can i know the lines are a little small but like i said i'm still working on it i'm still working on it so for three four i had a side hustle i budget for fifty dollars but i actually made a hundred hoo hoo go me um i'm trying to sell some more stuff on poshmark or on facebook market um, so I can boost up my side hustle. So this is my bills, which let me show you. Let me show you. Remember last month, it was this long compared to this here. Woo -hoo, go me. I paid a lot of credit cards, store cards in full because I said, why not? Because, you know, you get your taxes. We think about spending them and I'm not knocking nobody. You spend your taxes the way you want. But I would have done the same thing, but since I am in debt and I have a goal to reach um, by 2022, so I said, let me use some of my um, income taxes to pay off some of my little cards, which is the debt snowball. So I did that. So Sprint, these are my bills, what I have currently. Um, Sprint is 65, uh, it's 130, I think. So I'm budgeting at one, um, 65. Cause it varies every month so i don't know why but it does um student loans i'm going to budget at 50. apple music is 14.99 freedom is 38.50 because it got lower because i made a debt payment which that will be in my next video um but yeah so 38.50 um for um 38 38.50 will be 77 dollars a month that would be my um minimum payment then Capital One for this paycheck is going to be $73.50 that I put aside. And then Cable Vision is higher this month. I don't understand. It's $160 something. So I, I'm budgeting at $85. And then whatever I extra debt payments I make on top of whatever minimum payments that I do make. So we are going to be going into the envelopes. So let's get into that. So let's see what we have in food food we have 35 which i'm going to keep that here or should i do something different with it um i'm gonna keep it in food so and i'm always you guys know i always budget 150 so 50 50 40 oh i'm missing something here my little cheat sheet that I did for the bank. So I have two fifties, two twenties, and then I have two tens for my food. So that's 150, 150, 60, 70, 175, if that's correct, right? Nope. Yeah. You know, my math is always off. Okay, let's see. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. So 185 is my starting balance. And if you hear somebody laughing in the background, that is my child. I don't know if she's watching something. So 185. Hope that's correct. Um, that's my starting balance for that. And then let's see what we got for beauty. 
beauty, I have nothing. So for beauty, I'm putting eight dollars. So one, two, three. So five, six, seven, eight. I'm putting for beauty. So that's gonna be my starting balance. Kind of like it like this better because and then I'll know what I'm starting off with. Um, and then I'll know what I end and I can go on like that. So I'll know what's you know actually going on in my cash envelopes. So the next one is gonna be pet, and pet is gonna get ten dollars. Let's see what pet got already. Pet has $10 already. And then we are going to put $10 and pet. So that makes it 20. 20 dollars. So pet, we're gonna start off with 20. Okay, guys, so I have a new envelope. Eating out. And the reason why I'm putting eating out is because I know I'm doing this um, pack a lunch march, but you know, not all the time. I'm gonna be honest with you, not all the time is gonna be that way. There's gonna be some times that I might have to eat out because I usually cook and then I'll put some food aside for me. So I'm just gonna, um, for eating out, I'm gonna actually put $10 just in case. So that's gonna be my new envelope. And that's going to be $10. And that's going to be this one here. Just in case. And we're going to start that off with $10. And then our next one is going to be Christmas. And Christmas has... Christmas is going to get... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have to enter... MTA, which is transportation. So we're going to get back to that. So we're going to do Christmas, which is, I'm going to put $10. Christmas is getting $10. So I'm adding it here. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. So $55 already for Christmas. So Christmas is getting, it has 55. And then, uh, birthday has five dollars, and birthday is getting how much this time? Oh, I didn't even do birthday. Oh, all right. So birthday's gonna we're gonna hold off on birthday. So birthday has five dollars. So I'm gonna put starting off with five dollars. Right. So we're going to start that one off with $5 because that's what already has already in there. And then the next one is going to be home. So I decided to have a home envelope. Remember from, it was called moving. The envelope from last month was called moving. So I'm calling it home now. So that's five and home is actually getting $10. So now it's going to have 15. Moving home, whichever one is still the same thing. Everything is going to be added together. So 15. And then I decided to do... Um, what was my next one? Back to school. So I decided to do a back to school. And back to school is going to get five dollars because i figured why not start now god forbid something was to happen later um so back to school is getting five dollars right because that's the case you just never know what just what tomorrow brings so i'll be prepared for it um and then car is also going to get five dollars which this one is for car. Which, yes, I need a car. Because wherever I move, it's not going to be in New York. So, I might need a car. 
And then emergency is going to get $10. Okay, so emergency gets ten dollars. Oh wait, we gotta see how much we have in here first. So we have one, two, one, two, two fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. So we got two eighty, two eighty, eighty-five, ninety. So we got two ninety now in emergency. Yes. Emergency has two ninety. Right now, I am short somewhere, which I have here. Oh, okay. I know what happened. I need to get me a me envelope. Huh? So I decided to add me in there because, um, let me see how much is here first. 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20, this goes to, this actually goes to MTA. This one right here goes to MTA. So let me go get a envelope so we could use as an MTA. And I'm going to use this one as MTA. So there is $20 in here. 5, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is transportation. Yes. I know that I have to put in me and fun. Those two there, I don't know. What happened with these two, I have to figure it out, but I'll figure it out once I look back at the video to edit. So yeah, guys, so this is my March paycheck number one, which I'm excited because I love my little, um, my little, you know, sheet here. So March goal is to read a book. Um extra to debt and um let's see let's see let's see extra to debt uh make extra income so let's see guys let me know how you like my little spread here so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll be seeing everyone in my next video. Bye.